There aren't many places like Dahlonega in Lumpkin County. Rich in history, many of the people who built this community are still here today. I've lived in Dahlonega all of my life. We are seven generations here. The first Jones came in in 18 and 8, and Mama's folks was part Cherokee directing traffic for the gold rush. We, uh, we've seen a lot of change here from row crops to chickens and then to retired people moving in. And Dahlonega and Lumpkin County has always had a diverse population back from the gold rush. They've always been an influx of new people. And then the military came, the U.S. Army and Mountain Ranger Camp came, and that added another dimension to our. So we have crossroads. We're a little bit different from the average little country town that you'd run into. When asked about how he and his family were involved in building the hospital, J.B. replies, Well, yes, <laughs> I was sole commissioner. And we met one night at the courthouse with the president of the bank, Russell Ivey, Jim Cameron, who was a plant manager at Burlington Industries, and Dr. Mike Callahan from the college. He was a head of the biology department. Bill Owens was a businessman. Bruce Stringer was a the uh, sanitarium, but he represented the health department. We had saw a need from a study of, of a hospital. And at that time, we only had two doctors and they were overworked. You could go to the doctor and sit in the doctor's office all day and wait. So we uh, came up on this idea maybe to build a hospital in Lumpkin County. Had a little prayer out there in the office and we sold revenue bonds and built the hospital. JB tells us how building the hospital truly was a community effort. And Bill Owens was a business person. They owned a hatchery and chicken business in town. Plus, he had a twin-engine airplane that could fly if we went to go somewhere and look at hospital equipment. So we got the Sykes family, which is an old gold mining family, to donate the land on top of the mountain. But we discovered that we had to have, what, 10 acres? It was a, and we didn't have quite 10 acres, so Bill Hardeman donated additional lands to be sure that we had enough land for for the hospital. And then we ran a community effort and different communities came in and they uh, raised enough money to fund a room. But that was a total community effort. Everybody bought in and we liked that. Then we had the big day and we had the ground opening and we broke ground, started the hospital. So we trying to tie, you follow me, we was trying to tie everybody in. And then Dr. Owen and Dr. Callahan the college was fixing to come up with a nursery school. They didn't have a nursery school, so this would be a good source of, with the interns and to work in with her. We thought that would work well. And then the good Lord blessed us with two sources of electricity on top of that mountain. We didn't know that you had to have two. The Georgia Power run this way, and the other one was I'm close the other way, so it just, just happened. So we, uh, and we almost goofed on getting the land donated on top because we was going to name it after Valerie Sykes who we thought had passed away and Bill Owens had connections with that family. So he calls and she's still alive. <laughs> but it worked out well. They donated the land and it, it's a most beautiful place. And then later, St. Joe sold to Chesty Regional. A hospital is one of the cleanest industries you can have. It has a great economic impact, but it's clean. It doesn't put any pollutions in the air. It doesn't put anything in there. It's just, they're just great to have. Plus it gives you that bind cohesiveness. It hadn't always been easy, but it's worth it.